Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a special night at TMI for our Panther family. Tonight, we are celebrating the life of Jackson Allen Moore. Jackson passed away on April 22nd, 2021. Jackson was a student here at TMI and a beloved member of the Corps of Cadets and the TMI baseball program. At this time, please direct your attention to the home plate area where Father Scott Brown, head of school at TMI, will begin our ceremony to celebrate Jackson's life. Good evening. I want to start by thanking our players and our coaches, especially for our fans and guests from Nixon Smiley. Thank you for being a part of this tonight, and we're honored to share this celebration with you as we celebrate the life of Jackson. I also want to say thank you to our parents and our students in the TMI community. You do one thing that great human beings do, and that's you show up. You show up and you give the gift of presence all the time, and for that I am so grateful. Parents of our athletes and our students, thank you again. I, it doesn't, um, it reminds me as I stand on this halo, which this is called a halo, which is fitting, um, that this halo was made possible by some of our parents, the Duketnik family. So we are so supported by our parents and our families who make TMI the great institution it is. Tonight we gather to celebrate Jackson Moore, to celebrate his life. Few students in the history of TMI have embodied the totality of what TMI means more than Jackson Moore, who lived out the values of wisdom and integrity and service and excellence and reverence. I can, uh, I don't even have to close my eyes, I can see Jackson's smile and it makes me smile, that half tooth crooked smile that he had. And you may not know this, but he lost that half of his tooth in a basketball game and his parents wanted to fix it, but he refused to let it get fixed because he thought it looked tough. And if you know Jackson, he, was, he looked a lot of the, he didn't look tough. He looked sweet, he looked kind, he looked innocent, he looked humble, but little sweet Jackson in that half tooth smile brings me a smile on more days than you probably know. But the two things that Jackson loved the absolute most about an institution that he loved were baseball and the Corps of Cadets. To be standing here today with our baseball team and our Corps of Cadets behind me would have made Jackson oh so very proud. Jackson was a, a high fiver. He'd high five anyone and everyone. He was the ambassador of joy on our campus and he would celebrate accomplishments by anyone on this campus. He loved to be the ambassador of joy. And I believe that Jackson truly felt at home at TMI. Now I tell you those two words, uh, high fives and home, because I'm standing here on home plate. And underneath this home plate, we put the baseball that Jackson and Bianca and Tim and Erica would throw together and Jackson's baseball shoes underneath this home plate. They're buried there forever. So that every Panther that comes across this plate that comes home will high five Jackson and be a part of carrying on the joy of celebration. No Panthers, that when you score, you score and get a high five, a wonderful human being who still brings joy to this community every day. Aiden, thank you. Good evening. Thank you for coming today to commemorate the life of Jackson Moore and support TMI Baseball. My name is Aiden Knotson and I'm an Eagle Scout and TMI Cadet. With the help of TMI staff, students, and the Moore family, we've created something for the baseball dugout. Something that will help us remember Jackson. Something we hope will inspire each player. But before I explain that project, let me tell you a little about who and what inspired me. All of us have a Jackson story, and I'd like to share one of my own. I recall one sunrise off of West Tejas Trail. As an honor guard member, it was my privilege that morning to raise the flag, a privilege I shared with my teammate, Jackson. It was chilly that day, and I was worried about a math test. Jackson came up to me with his charismatic smile and asked, how you doing, bro? With that smile, and question, Jackson helped me relax and focus on what mattered most, 
being present and enjoying the moment. I'm thankful for that memory. Thankful to have known an amazing cadet, baseball player, and young man. And today I'm thankful to serve on an honor guard of a different type. This evening it's my privilege and honor to serve in the memory of Jackson Allen Moore. Mr. and Mrs. Moore and Bianca, please join me on the field. Thank you. Gentlemen, if you please. On the left, you can see an outline of Jackson's retired jersey, number 22. And on the right is a memorial plaque with Jackson's image and his favorite quote from Dr. Seuss. When players take the field, we're reminded that each game is a precious opportunity, a chance to strive, to triumph, to be a great teammate, and most importantly, to honor God. It can be easy to forget, but each day on earth is a unique gift, a blessing beyond price. Through this project, I have come to know and love the Moore family. I'm grateful you have allowed me to complete this very special project. Thank you. And on behalf of TMI Episcopal, please accept this replica of the number 22 Jackson's Panther jersey. I know how special Jackson's number was to him and your family. It is with great reverence that we present this to you and hope it brings you comfort and healing. Thank you. Please also accept this check in the amount of $2,162. Not only did we raise enough money to complete this project, but through, your, but through the generosity of many donors, we had additional funds that went to the Moore family, who decided that Jackson would want the money to be used for future enhancements of the TMI baseball complex. It was no surprise that you would want to use this money to further enhance one of Jackson's loves, TMI baseball. We love you, and we love Jackson. Thank you. In scouting, one of the promises of the Scout Oath is a duty to other people. Earning my Eagle Scout rank has taught me what it means to be committed and dedicated to something outside myself. My hope is that each of us continue to look outside ourselves and live in and with Christ, as, da as Jackson did. Thank you to all the generous donors, volunteers, and team my community for your support and prayers. Personally, I thank you for keeping Jackson's spirit and loving heart present today and forever. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Aiden, for the following your heart and the Knotson family starting this project. Thank you to our community for creating it to find the joy to celebrate Jackson's life. If it was not for joy in your hearts to follow this positive action, we would not have this day, Tuesday, to 2222, to give to our children. We are stronger together. Father Scott read 3, 16, 20, 23 at Jackson's Celebration of Life. It was appropriate because Jackson understood the story and he lived it. I ask you to read it. If we follow Shadrach, Shadrach Meshach, and Afghan and Jackson, then we will shine more light on the good, the joy in our hearts, 
the light on life of this dedication. Today is for you. This is our happy place. Now we share it with you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we'd like to ask you to please stand for the invocation to be delivered by Father Ben Nelson, TMI chaplain, and please remain standing for the presentation of the colors by the TMI Corps of Cadets and the singing of our national anthem. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for Jackson. We remember all those whom we love but see no longer. And as we remember Jackson tonight, help us to hold fast to those memories of the values he embodied. Give us joyful hearts in the face of grief and sadness. Help us to see in this memorial a perpetual reminder of the love, optimism, connection, and joy that Jackson embodied. And bless it as an outward and visible sign of good memories, powerful faith, and everlasting love in the light of God's grace. Bless the Moore family tonight and always. Thank you for Aiden and his vision to bring this memorial to us. Bless the TMI community and our beloved Panther baseball team and all those who will find hope and inspiration in this night and in this memorial. For it's in Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's anthem will be sung by Mr. Mark Philippi, physics teacher here at TMI. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's ceremonial first pitch will be delivered by Jackson's sister, Bianca, a sixth grade student athlete and cadet here at TMI.
Outstanding. Big hand for Bianca.